What's up, guys? It's Big Sin, and we're back with another quick hit tip for you. This one is pretty cool, though. So a lot of people want to use an animated background on their stream, but maybe you don't know how to do that, or maybe you only know how to go download a video file and then use that video file as your background. Now, sure, cool, that works, but it is a very system intensive if you do that. So maybe you don't have a great computer, or maybe you know your stream is running a little bit sluggish after you did that. Let me show you a cool way, an easy way, and a very very less system intensive way to do it. So let's get into it. I'm gonna hop into Streamlabs OBS and we'll get you on the right track. And did I mention this is absolutely free and you don't need anyone to help you with it? Let's get into it. All right, guys, we're over in OBS now. I'm gonna show you how to do this. It's actually really easy. And like I mentioned, it's a lot less system intensive. So if you don't have a great computer, this is an excellent way to add a little bit of pop to your stream without you know killing the quality. So first, I do this in two different steps, okay? So I'm gonna add two different images. The first image I'm going to add is going to be the background. So you're gonna wanna go add new source and then add a background color, a solid color. Um, will usually work if you're gonna do it like I am. So add the source, okay, browse, and then go to your background. So I just did a gray background, so we'll just go ahead and throw that gray one in there. Now you can see it takes up the entire screen. All right, so add another image source, which is going to be your one that you want to move. Um, this should be a transparent PNG. It doesn't have to be, but it'll look better. So I tiled my logo um, to make it look like it's moving. So go ahead, move over, grab your logo here or whatever image you want to animate. So as you can see, it put that up on the screen. And now all you need to do is click on your logo tile or whatever image you're gonna use, go to filters, add a filter, and then you wanna move to scroll. So this is where you get the animation for the background, okay? So you can add you know, to go either way, left, you know, if you want it to go to the left, go that way. If you want to go to the right, go that way. Um, so typically what I'll do is just have it go in one direction. If you have a perfectly tiled image, you can even make it go like on a diagonal. As you can see, you know, my image is not perfectly tiled, so it's not going to look good if I do that. So I will go back into the filter and for the vertical one, I'm just going to put it at zero and that way it'll be a nice, a nice smooth horizontal movement. Okay, now the things you can do with this are super cool. I mean, there's so many different options, um, but this is the easiest way to do it. It's less system intensive because all it is is an image that's moving on your screen. All right, guys, so it's literally as easy as that. Um, like I mentioned though, the most important part about that is that it's very less intrusive on your computer, less CPU, less GPU rendering. It'll make, if you don't have a great computer or maybe you're streaming from a laptop, it'll definitely make that a lot easier on your computer but it also one of those quick things to help you stand out a little bit on Twitch. And as we all know, right now, that's the most important thing in growing your content is, is standing out and doing something a little bit different than everybody else. So hopefully that helps. If it did, please consider subscribing, maybe coming and checking out the live stream. Uh, you can find us on Twitch. You can find us on Twitter. You can find us on TikTok. We appreciate you guys. And we'll be back next week with another quick, easy, quick hit tip. Catch you later. Peace.